Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Kickle Cubicle. Okay, again, we are going to try to beat Piro, the clown dude. Uh, this is our second try here, uh, and hopefully he gets a little easier for me. He's not, but that's okay. I'm not going to die on him as much as I'm going to die on the final boss, but uh, might just be a couple times, so... But anyway, the procedure is pretty much the same. You just uh, dodge his attacks and then try to kick them back at him. Unfortunately, his attacks, uh, he likes to jump. Um, and it makes things difficult sometimes uh, to deal with. So I can't always... Oh, wow, I was lucky there. I thought that was going to kill me. There we go. We finally got him. Woo! Shut up, princess. There's no talking during the music of extreme congratulations. Whatever I called it last time. Fantastic appreciation or something. Achievement. Yeah, fantastic achievement. The music of fantastic achievement. No talking. None at all. It's great music. You know, I tell you, I think if this music actually had a sound... Or if this uh, video game actually had a soundtrack, I don't think I'd buy it. <laughs> I may download it, but I don't think I'd buy it. It's a very good game, though. I like it. So anyway, this level uh, gives you a lot more um, things to do at one time. You got to worry about circle holes, and you got to worry about the springs. You got to worry about getting hit, and all that fun stuff. So just putting everything into, into uh, you know. Bringing it all together now, finally, making things a little bit more difficult. And now we're in cake land with a birthday cake for a level. The only trick about this level is don't hit the green guys. It's uh, easier said than done. Your timing has to be kind of spot on uh, on some of these. Some of them is easier. That was pretty close. And now I'm going to get the dream bags before the green spinny thing gets me. And we get some donuts for it. All right. And there's my word again. Arr! I'm going to punch myself for it. Not really. But anyway, I like donuts because my favorite character, well, not my favorite character, but one of my favorite characters from a um, an anime loves donuts, and that's Vash the Stampede from the series Trigun. If you have never seen it, go get it and watch it. It's very good. Now these knights, as, as you've seen earlier, will bounce, will reflect your icy breath back at you. It's not a very good thing. It's, this will hurt you. This will freeze you, and then they will charge after you, and you will not have a very pleasant experience. So I don't suggest you do it. And I also don't suggest that you hang around those blue guys, because eventually they're going to get to you. But, they didn't get to me, and I got some popsicles for it. And I still have five lives left. Okay, um... Pretty easy level here. Uh, just, uh... Kick the block in the right spot, and uh, you're good to go. <laughs> Not a whole lot to really say. So, let's do that. Now, you gotta kinda be quick, because you see that ice block melting up there? Uh, once it melts, it, the game actually gets a little bit harder, because now you've gotta refill that block. So, let's not let the... Oh, it happened. Okay. Anywho, since it happened... I'm going to freeze him right there and just kick it in. That makes it a lot easier. It would have been much easier if I hadn't lost it, but I did. And we get hamburgers. Mmm. Hamburgers. You know, I, I think that's a bad game to make you want to eat the, the citizens of the fairy world, world that you're trying to save. It's not good. Okay, the uh, hard part about this level is there's so many freaking blue guys, you don't know what to do with them all. So I just kind of kick them around. 
Whoops. Not supposed to do that. Supposed to do that. Right there. So let's try to get the rest of these guys all set. Ha ha ha. Now we walk around. And if you can see, the green guy is actually stuck on that one up there. So if I get the one up, he's actually going to be free. But it doesn't matter. Because he's not going to get me. And we get some little peppermint candies flying around us. And one of them wants to talk to us. Your palace is sealed into a crystal ball. You're not afraid because I'm all powerful and all that fun stuff. Yay. Uh, you know, why are you going to trust me? I mean, I'm just Kickle. I'm just a guy, you know? I'm just some guy. Alright, now we got funny turtle guys. Alright, now normally I like turtles. However, these turtles are mean. These turtles, you can't hurt when they're spinning, and they kill you. Watch out. The turtles are nasty, and the turtles will be coming back very shortly. I wish this game didn't make the turtles, but it did. So we gotta deal with them. Alright, another, uh, another level that requires on split-second timing. Um, basically the premise of this level is hit and run. I'm gonna push the block and run. Push the block and run. Again and again. Until I can actually kick it to the next area. Freeze the knight and get the bags. All in record time. Well, I don't know about record time, but that's pretty quick. Now this level is all about figuring out where you actually need to kick the block next. Thankfully, I will save you the trouble of figuring that out because I already know. Or at least can remember from one to the next which way I actually have to kick it. So. Easy enough. Pretty much if you uh, kick it to the next available open block, you're probably going to be on the right track. Um, However, it's not always that easy on these levels, so just gonna kind of figure out which way is gonna actually get it to where you want to go. Um, these levels actually it helps very much to a uh, backwards plan. Figure out where the block needs to go and go backwards from there. How it needs to get there and go block by block. Um, I've actually mapped out entire levels. Uh, later on, you'll you'll see some of those. I might actually have to pull out my notes when I get there um, on how to get them. All right, now we got a new type of block. Those arrow blocks, um, they are a little bit different. Uh, what they do is, as you'll see, if you kick a block at them and it hits the arrow, the block breaks. Pretty simple. Pretty easy to understand, right? So in this case, we must kick a block up here, then use the magic of the stop motion block to kick it down. Not get killed by the green things and then do it all over again. Here's a hint, always kick it in the opposite direction that you want to go first. And that's kind of scary. The, uh, the green guys will actually latch onto each other and, and just go in random directions. Waffle cookies or something spinning around me. I don't know. I didn't program the game. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Let's play Kickle Cubicle. See you next time.